All right, we got this all cut out. Took a little bit of different approach on this one. Like I said, I didn't cut this whole section out. Um, this is all fairly solid under here. We can just weld in a patch on top for the pan. Uh, this is all solid going back here. Got this all cut out. Um, now here, I pretty much just cut straight across. You can see it's just a perfectly straight section. I did not go up all the way to the top as I did on the other side, which was a huge pain. We got all the rust spots out. And we had to go a little bit higher here, as you can see. Um, but on the other side, I cut all the way up here and then went down and then up again. It's It was just really difficult to get it fitted perfectly. So the rust wasn't too bad on this side. And then I just went basically straight across. So hopefully this will be easier to weld and made up since it's perfectly straight. Uh, right here I need to figure out what I'm going to do because when it's solid it's just surface rust in there but to prevent any kind of further growth and then all this is pretty solid here so whether I cut this straight across and then over and down because we do have this whole entire chunk so maybe it'll be easier for me to cut this all out and then just weld in the new one instead of trying to go around here and then down um, that way we're gonna we're working with a perfectly a perfectly straight rectangle so I may just keep continue this cut here all the way back and that way it'll be a lot easier to stick in there and weld together but this didn't take that long to cut out I mean maybe an hour or so the bed is jacked up so I can access the corners bed is just temporary I got another one waiting in California for me this part I don't know what I'm gonna do about yet I might just use um, cut out a square of just regular steel I might see what I can use from the donor but this whole thing is pretty solid so I really don't want to mess with this I'll probably just cut these or vice grip season hopefully add some heat and then these will screw out and then I can chase the threads on that uh, here you can see our patchwork from weeks and weeks ago and right in here as you can see the inside we'll get all that fixed up I think a part of this problem was this this foamy spray stuff they use it probably held a lot of moisture and caused a lot of these issues because I was digging a lot of this stuff out of the cracks and corners so the mounting point is solid just some surface rust there's no point in me cutting all this out I mean this whole thing is super solid so I'll probably grind this down and apply some um, rust bullet or some type of pour 15 type thing before I um, weld the patch or the pan in here but uh, we'll see I mean, it's not that bad, just some surface rust here. Just sand it, grind it down, and then apply some finisher to it, preventer, whatever you want to call it. So, I think I'm going to head home, call it a night. It's Friday night, pretty late. <laughs> it's already midnight. And then uh, have a go at this tomorrow morning. And hopefully finish up late Saturday, early Sunday, and have some time Sunday to relax after all this. But once it's done, it's done. Never again. I'm never going to do this to a T100 ever again in my life. More or less, this is just for practice to see um, what I can do and if I could do it. And Yeah, well, whatever. Alright, till next time.